when I say standard forms, this parabola here is just one version. It's a concave up parabola, right? But there's other kinds of parabolas too. We'll just start by reiterating this guy. So if you see x squared equals 4ay, you can draw your set of axes. You know this guy is going to have its, oh I missed, but you get the idea. There we go. Uh, it's going to have its vertex there at the origin. It's going to have its directrix down here at y equals negative a and its focus up here at 0 comma a. But I can just as easily have a downward facing parabola, right? So this is concave up, concave down. Oops, I need some space. Would have what kind of equation? A concave down parabola. x squared would be equal to negative 4ay. Or you could put the minus on the other side, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to write minus 4ay here. Okay. Uh, it's worth noting since a is a length, a is always positive, so I should probably state that here. a is greater than zero because it's a focal length after all. So in order to get a concave down parabola, you have to put a minus sign on the outside. This is the shape of course we would get. But now my directrix and my focus are all swapped around, right? The directrix is not going to be underneath the parabola, the directrix is going to be above and pushing the parabola, facing it downwards, right? So you can see its equation would not be y equals negative a, its equation would be just positive a. Conversely, your focus is not going to be above your parabola, it's going to be beneath. So therefore its coordinates down here would be 0, negative a. Okay? So we've got concave up, concave down. We've known that this could happen for a long time, but now's the time where we formally introduce it. Concave up and concave down are not the only directions on our Cartesian plane. We can of course have concave left and concave right. How would we make things face left, right instead of up, down? What would we do? Yeah, Eric. Make it y squared equals 4 a. If I swapped my variables, I'm swapping what we think of as horizontal with what we think of as vertical. So if I said y squared equals 4ax instead of the other way around, then when you draw this, is this one going to be concave left or concave right? right, right. This will be concave right. How did you know? Because right sounds positive. <laughs> well, right doesn't just sound positive. On the x-axis, right is positive by definition, right? So see over here, see over here how on the left hand side you've got a square. So y has to be, the lowest it can be is 0 and it's going to go up. Do you agree? So here you've got a square on the left hand side so the smallest x can be is 0 and everything else is positive. Okay? So I can get my concave right from there. Where's the directrix going to be? The directrix is what pushes the parabola away. So I'm going to position it over here on the left. Okay? It's a vertical line, not a horizontal line. So it's not going to be y equals, it'll be x equals. And being on the left hand side of the Cartesian plane, it must be minus a. That of course positions your focus over here, but because it's going left, right instead of up, down, it's going to be the x coordinate that changes. Yeah? So it's going to be a comma zero. So I've got concave up, concave down, concave right, and here comes concave left to complete the picture. Okay, now there's more things to have a look at under this idea, lots more, but this is enough for you to um, have a think about. Oh, well, by the way, I did ask you about this, why this is important, the lattice rectum. Um, have a look at it for a second. We can work out the length of this now because we know what the equation of this parabola is. If it's x squared equals 4ay, x squared equals 4ay, 
What will these coordinates be? How would you go about working out what those coordinates are? This is x squared equals 4ay. Honest question. What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to find the coordinates of these two spots on either ends of this interval. How do I find them based on the geometry here in this equation? Sharon, do you want to have a shot? So you can see, therefore, that it has to be in line with the focus, which has a y coordinate of a. So this must be something a, and this is something a. So I can find out what the something is by saying, OK, well, x squared equals 4 a squared. Do you agree? I've just substituted it in. So therefore, to find those x values, I just take the square root of both sides. So I get plus or minus 2 a. Does that make sense? <coughs> So over here, minus 2a, and over here, 2a. So the length of the lattice rectum, no matter how big or which direction this parabola is facing in, is always exactly four times longer than your focal length. Okay? And you can actually verify that by measurement when you actually draw it, and you can do whatever parabola you like, you'll find it. Okay?